Hello and welcome back to the Gourmet Gambit and today I'm going to show you how to make a duck confit it's really not difficult to do it just needs time and patience I'm Wes, let's get started the morning before we're going to start curing our duck legs and by the way you can also use goose just plain coarse sea salt natural sea salt crushed black peppercorns And again, sea salt, nice fresh thyme, bay leaves, little bits, garlic. We're gonna rub our duck legs so the salt covers everything. Just give it a good massage, they like that very much. Put some more sea salt if needed. Film. And we're going to preserve this in the fridge for 24 hours. So we're the next day and we're going to start making our duck coffee. We're going to clean our duck legs under cold running water to get all the excess of salt off. And we're going to dry them. We're going to leave our pots of uh, duck fat in hot water, so it's going to melt a bit. 10 minutes. Bunch of duck fat is melted. Put in half a glass of water. The water is going to be on the bottom and it's going to avoid your duck legs to get stuck on the bottom. Now we're going to pour in our duck legs. It is really important that everything is covered with the duck fat, garlic clove with the skin, another one and a third one, some thyme, and we're going to warm this up to 90 degrees Celsius and we're going to cook it for two hours, low and slow. Some cook this on 80 degrees, so if it comes close to 100 degrees, put out your gas for a few minutes. Now I'll duck confit to see if they're well done, take a fork or a knife. It just goes in very easily, so this is perfect. Filter the duck fat and preserve in your fridge. Duck fat is really amazing to cook with, to fry with. Duck confit is delicious, cold on a nice summer salad. And it's also one of the important meats you're gonna need. If you want to make a French cassoulet, you can use this in many, many various ways. And all that's left to say, my dear gourmet friends, Bon appétit and see you back soon.